Well, good Monday morning, Gate City. How are you doing today? Uh, this morning I was thinking about what we spoke about yesterday in Proverbs 10, 9. It says, uh, One who walks with integrity walks securely. And I really appreciate that verse because it really is a challenge. Uh, most of us have experienced, if not every one of us, have experienced times when we have not been uh, walking in integrity where what we say does not match up with how we live or what we're doing. Uh, we all know the tension that brings in our lives. We all know that uh, sometimes it brings fear because we become afraid of being found out, that we're not exactly who we say we are, or doing exactly what we say we'll do. And uh, none of us like those feelings. None of us want to feel like we have to hide something. And God wants to free us from that and so that's why he says if we can walk with integrity we walk securely uh, we have security we have confidence because if we choose each day to purpose to live out our faith legitimately live out our faith and I know we're not perfect and I'm not saying you are or I am but as we each day work at living out our faith uh, being true to our convictions uh, letting our values guide our decisions and our actions we begin to <clears throat> walk with integrity. Uh, and so when we're walking with that integrity, that allows us to have the confidence to be secure in who we are in Christ Jesus. So that no matter what someone says about us, no matter what they point at us and try to accuse us of, we know and God knows the truth. And that gives us quiet confidence to do what we need to do, especially in the face of adversity when things are coming at us or people are attacking us, we can stand firm in Christ because we know who we are and we know how we've lived and we know that we can walk in confidence because we have been walking with integrity with the Lord. So whatever area you're struggling with this morning and walking in integrity, I would say turn it over to God. Ask God to give you the strength to correct whatever that is and allow you to begin to experience the freedom from walking with integrity and experience the confidence that it brings. That's all I've got for you this morning. God bless you. Have a great day.